Thursday, July 23rd, 2020. This is Canadian Jewish Views, brought to you by CJA. We're the advocacy agent of Jewish federations across Canada. I'm your host, Martin Sampson. Do you want to strengthen your connection to the Jewish community in Canada and around the world? Keep watching. Canadian Jewish Views is a product of CJA. We're the advocacy agent of Jewish federations across Canada, and our mission is to preserve the quality of Jewish life in Canada through advocacy. If you value what we do, please share this post with your family, like our page, and sign up for our emails. Do you want to know how I know that I'm at an important community event? I turn around and run into our first guest, who seems to be everywhere, all the time, helping everyone. It's remarkable, really. Adam Moscow was a leader in the Canadian Federation of Jewish Students. He chaired Holocaust Education Month at the University of Ottawa. He was valedictorian of both his high school and undergrad university classes. He was named one of Canada's top 20 under 20. He worked in Parliament. He worked at Canada's mission to the UN. He's committed to social inclusion and sustainable development. He marches, he speaks, he listens, he helps. Reading his bio is exhausting. He's a great guy. And now, he is also Vice President of the Tamir Foundation, a charity that my family is proud to support with a modest gift we make through the Jewish Federation of Ottawa every year. Tamir serves Jewish and non-Jewish families and empowers individuals with developmental disabilities in a Jewish environment. Let's listen to Adam. He is the future of Canada's Jewish community. And the Tamir Foundation of Ottawa is Ottawa's sole organization that serves people with developmental disabilities in a supportive Jewish environment. So over our 36 years at Tamir, we've learned the value of safe and supportive housing. And we've been working with CJA, with other partners, with agencies like Tamir across Canada to advocate for housing for people with developmental disabilities. This has been included actually in the national housing strategy. And here at Tamir, we're working to seek the resources to build an amazing new project called the Integrated Living Centre, which will really be a new model for housing and for ensuring that our most vulnerable community members have a place to call home that serves their needs most effectively. Young people like myself coming into community service and taking on leadership roles, we need these agencies to thrive. And it's critical because we can't just let our parents' generation fulfill these roles. We need to take that responsibility and also serve with our talent and our time and our connections in the community. There are incredible resources out there to take young lay leaders and give us the skills to be effective in agencies. I think the important thing is for young people to figure out what agency they're passionate about. Start with the mandate of the organization and the community that it serves. Does this drive you? Does it excite you? And do you feel like you can devote your time, your volunteer time after hours to the vitality of this organization? Thank you, Adam. Committed next gen leaders like Adam give me hope and they should give you hope too. It's time for your advocacy update. Recently, we've witnessed an alarming increase in anti-Semitism and hatred being peddled on the internet, here in Canada and around the world. It's troubling, not because this garbage is offensive, though it is, but because this bigotry and anti-Semitism is a reliable predictor of violence against the Jewish community. And that's bad for everyone. When the anti-Semitic rot sets in, it undermines our whole society. From Zoom bombings of virtual synagogue services, to a shop owner in Toronto banning Zionists and peddling a range of classic anti-Semitic garbage, to this clown from the Canadian Nationalist Party who spews hatred about the need to remove the parasitic tribe from Canada, and night before last during the Green Party leadership debate where foul anti-black and anti-Semitic bigotry were on display. And we're seeing it around the world too. The attempt to use the Jewish privilege hashtag to blame Jews for everything thankfully overtaken by the Jewish community and our allies. Then we have Nick Cannon, podcast host in the U.S., providing a platform for guests to spew about the Jewish plan to control the world. Although he's not to be outdone by NFL player Deseen Jackson, who used his social media to talk about the Jewish plan for world domination. And of course, the beginning of the trial in Halle, Germany, reminds us that like in Pittsburgh, online hatred can turn into real-world violence. More information about these incidents below. So, what is CJA doing? We're holding social media companies to account. We're lobbying government at all levels to create new public policies to combat anti-Semitism. We're educating school boards like the TDSB and the OCDSB. We're nurturing excellent relationships with our allies in civil society, which is a key component, because this is not just a Jewish problem. We're filing complaints with the human rights tribunals, 
and when warranted, we're asking police and attorneys general to lay charges. If you want to learn about our public policy agenda and precisely what we're advocating for, look below. What we and our Federation partners are doing is not easy, and we need your help combating anti-Semitism. Want to take action? We have an action alert open right now asking Ontario to quickly pass the Combating Anti-Semitism Act. Click, take action, it'll take two seconds, and it will help. That's a snapshot of what your advocacy agent is doing to combat online hate. You're going to want to stick around because immediately following our next guest, who himself is an accomplished and impressive community leader, you'll hear this season's final words of wisdom from Rabbi Balka. They're very powerful. Cette semaine, nous avons le plaisir d'entendre un pilier de notre communauté. Depuis des décennies, l'honorable Jacques Sada a consacré beaucoup de son temps et de son énergie au service des autres. En tant que député et ministre fédéral, président de la communauté Sepharad Unifié du Québec, membre du conseil de Sija Québec, et la liste continue. Voici son appel aux jeunes membres de notre forte communauté Sepharad. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Honorable Jacques Sada. Bonjour, je m'appelle Jacques Sada, je suis le président de la communauté Sepharad Unifiée du Québec. J'ai quelques questions pour vous, peut-être même d'ailleurs aussi quelques réponses. Vous êtes intéressé par l'action humanitaire locale ou par l'accès à des réseaux Vous voulez rencontrer d'autres jeunes ou organiser des mentorats professionnels Vous aimez encadrer des jeunes ou participer à l'organisation de festivals Vous voulez contribuer à la vitalité d'une organisation dynamique et réactive Vous voulez redécouvrir l'histoire et la géographie de vos origines Vous participez à la vie intellectuelle de votre communauté Vous voulez aider à construire des ponts avec le monde qui nous entoure Vous voulez apprendre la gouvernance communautaire ou y participer Vous voulez prévoir, planifier et agir Avez-vous pensé à la communauté Sepharad Unifié du Québec La CSEQ. Nous mettons à votre disposition une organisation en mouvement qui fait une large place à la relève, au point d'ailleurs de lui réserver des sièges à son conseil d'administration. Une institution forte de ses bâtisseurs d'hier, confiante dans ses bâtisseurs de demain. Une organisation d'entraide et de partenariat. Une organisation agile, efficace, inclusive. Une organisation professionnelle, innovante et engagée. Parlez-nous et jugez-en par vous-même. Merci. Merci, M. Sada. That man has done a lot for Quebec, for Canada and for Canada's Jewish community. This is episode 10. Thank you for watching. We'll be back in a few weeks. To take you home, powerful words of wisdom from someone I'm privileged to call friend, Rabbi Ruben Bolka. Hi everyone. We have been through a lot and it has been a long five months. We do not know when the COVID-19 pandemic will end, but we do know that for the most part, we have persevered as a community. We take leave of you for a summer interlude with a fervent hope that we continue to make the best of a really nasty situation, that we cherish the valuable lessons we have learned, and that we continue our remarkable resilience. God bless you all. Sija is the advocacy agent of Canada's Jewish federations, pillars of Jewish life in Canada, committed to serving Canadian Jews just like you. Thank you to everyone who helped with this show, to our more than 30 guests over the last 10 weeks, and to you. Thanks for watching. See you soon.